Are oxidative stress and uh, endothelial dysfunction common in uh, hypertensive uh, subjects? Yes, it's a very common phenomenon that uh, individuals with hypertension have increased oxidative stress. You can measure that in uh, various ways. In uh, urine, uh, for example, you will see increased levels of isoprostane, which is a footprint of uh, oxidative stress. But you will also uh, see that in white blood cells from individuals with hypertension, um, you will have increased production of reactive oxygen species. And uh, do oxidative stress and uh, endothelial dysfunction also have a role in uh, molecular processes leading to hypertension? Yes, this is a, a very good question. Uh, uh, about 25 years ago, when uh, nitric oxide was discovered, at the same time uh, it was discovered that vascular or the vasculature makes a lot of uh, superoxide in situations of cardiovascular disease like hypertension or atherosclerosis. And this increased uh, superoxide formation will uh, consume NO bioavailability by this avid uh, reaction with the NO radical. So you have a loss of the NO and uh, you end up with higher levels of peroxynitrite, which is a very um, aggressive oxidant and this will damage uh, structures in the vasculature but also in the kidneys, in the heart and in the brain. So it's very likely that oxidative stress is linked to the disease um, pathology and disease progression.